Hello, my name is Marta. I'm from the University of Padova and um, during the past few years I've been participating in several tele uh, virtual mobility programs. Uh, but today I would like to talk to you about the Solia Connect program, which is a wonderful experience of vi virtual mobility uh, that I would actually suggest to anyone interested in, in virtual mobility. The Solia Connect program is uh, a project um, organized and uh, run by uh, the ONG uh, Solia, which is an international ONG. And uh, it involves students from up to 90 universities all around the world. And it engages them in discussion, uh, dialogue and collaboration on several issues related to culture, identity, religion and conflict. Uh, the project ran uh, over, I think, two months and uh, it involved a very small group of students uh, in online sessions every week. So we met um, almost physically because we were uh, at our houses, you know, or at university, but we could see each other because the tool that we were using, the platform we were using, actually helped us to see each other and to listen to our voices. So that was my experience. And uh, there are several, of course, there are several aspects which I would like to uh, highlight in this. Uh, first of all, the project, uh, although I was in my, you know, in my city and I didn't actually move, I didn't travel to see all these people from Jordan or from Palestine or uh, from the US, uh, we felt really close to each other because the dialogue that we developed and the friendship we developed over, the part, over, over those two months actually helped us to get to know each other and to explore our cultures, our, our points of view and experiences in a very constructive and positive way. Uh, then, uh, of course, this helped me to develop intercultural knowledge and intercultural awareness of different cultures, different points of view. And I really understood that my point of view as a Christian, Western uh, and uh, female uh, student uh, was not the only one. The second thing was that uh, the project uh, ran entirely in English, although the knowledge, knowledge of Arabic is also welcome. I didn't speak Arabic, so um, we spoke English all the time and uh, that was also very interesting and very useful for me as a student, as a PhD student uh, in English studies and uh, it really helped me to get into content and also to get to know other accents and our ways of speaking. There are several problems and challenges that I faced during the exchange, the, this project. Uh, first of all, it is very positive that uh, you, you don't need to move from your house, from your home or from university. You don't need to travel to meet these people. So you can have, have access to uh, a lot of cultures and a lot of experiences uh, just by staying you know, in, the, in the same city where you live. Uh, and this is, of course, very positive. Uh, I think it can, it can be a little bit uh, challenging at the beginning to use web-based tools if you're not used to that. So it's a new experience and you have to, uh, to get into it and to get familiar with the tools. Although Solia actually provides a wonderful platform for communication, uh, you have to get used to the, to, the, to the use of these tools. So you might face technical problems, your internet connection might not be very good, so uh, you have to be ready to cope with these challenges and also to, ve to feel very positive about them. Although, you know, you might encounter problems, but then still everyone is there to help you. Virtual mobili mobility programs are actually quite time consuming uh, because you have to dedicate uh, several hours or you know at least two hours for the online discussion in case in the case of Solia but then also other you know you have to do some homework or to prepare for the sessions in order to be uh, ready to discuss uh, with your with your partners and so these may you know uh, may take some of your time uh, but again the experience is so positive that I, I would really suggest this experience, this kind of project to everyone because without moving from your home you can actually enter a new world and explore different cultures, different, uh, different attitudes, di different ways of living and get to know another culture is actually something that enriches you and uh, widens your, your, your world. Uh, so I would definitely suggest that to anyone.